Hello again and welcome to Virtual Crafts. In this video I'll explain how we can update WordPress manually on localhost. WordPress keeps releasing new updates with some new features and as soon as an update is available we see a warning message here that a newer version of WordPress is available. And then we have to update our WordPress to use those features. So follow along this video and see how we can update WordPress on localhost. You can click this updates tab on the dashboard. This is where you'll find all the updates that are available for WordPress for plugins and for themes. Or you can follow this link, please update now, I'll click this. And it takes me to the same updates tab. The current version of WordPress that is installed on my server is 5.7.2 and the version 5.8 is available. Now if you are on a live server, simply click this update now button and the WordPress will be updated. I strongly recommend here that you back up your website before trying an upgrade because sometimes an update may go wrong because of plenty of reasons and if you are on a live domain and you are working on a big website it is better to have a backup and play safe instead of losing everything. But if you are on localhost and you try updating your WordPress by clicking this update now button sometimes the update fails and then we have to manually upgrade our website. So to manually upgrade your WordPress on localhost you need to go to wordpress.org Here in the header you'll find this button, get wordpress, I'll click it. I'll scroll down and here I'll find the latest version of the wordpress which is 5.8. I'll click this download button and it will download wordpress for me. And as you can see the download has been started. I'll pause the video here and I'll start again when the download is finished. Ok my download is finished now, here I have the zip file of wordpress 5.8. Now I'll have to extract this zip file, I'll simply right click on it and I'll extract it. Ok now WordPress has been extracted, I'll open this folder. Now here are all the files of WordPress and in these files you'll find this folder WP content. Simply select it and delete this folder. We don't need it. Ok the next step is to go to your C drive, I will go to the C drive, go to your XAMPP folder and inside XAMPP find your htdocs folder and open it and in this folder you will find the domain name folder that you specified while installing WordPress. I will go back to my website and here you will see that my domain name is virtual crafts tutorials and this is what I specified while installing WordPress. Now you should see a folder with the same name in your htdocs folder. Simply open it. Now make sure that your address is right. It has to be in C drive then XAMPP folder then htdocs folder and then your domain name folder. Now in this folder select all files and then deselect wp-content folder and wp-config.php file here. Make sure that you have this file in this folder deselected. We cannot delete these folders as they have your WordPress website content. For the rest of the files simply right click and delete them. And now you are left with only this folder in this file. Now what you have to do is go back to the folder where you extracted WordPress. Select all files from here. Copy them and paste them back in your WordPress folder. And now all of my files from the extraction folder have been copied here in addition to this folder and file that I already had. So that's all you have to do. Now simply go back to your website. Simply refresh this page. And you'll see that the update button and the message is gone. And now it's saying you have the latest version of WordPress which is 5.8. And it has also been updated here. Current version is 5.8. I'll go back to the dashboard. And you'll see that the update warning that I had here is also gone. So that's how you can update WordPress manually on localhost. That's all about this video. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it so that you get notified of every new video uploaded. Thank you and see you in the next video.